So I know the Mini Aliso has been out for a little bit, but I thought it would be fun just to take a look inside the box, what's new and what they've included, moved things around and how it works now. I have the previous version for the Mini Aliso and I thought it would be fun to kind of see what's inside the new one, what they've changed, what the difference is, and really to take a look at what the new one has for us. It's so cute. It's so cute. They have this at Quilt Market and um, it's so fun to see products get even better and better. So here's all the instructions and so I would highly recommend walking yourself through this if you have not used the mini before. So right off the bat, you're going to find just a little bit different from the previous one to the newer one. The dial is a little bit different and it has a standby button to let you know if it is auto shut off or not. So if it's ready or not. It also has um, the steam buttons on the side just like it did previously. One of the largest changes on this is that they moved the cord to the side of the iron. So before this was in the back, it could only be placed um, or stored face down. This new one has feet now and they have moved the plug to the side. So this machine actually can stand up, which is great. It comes with the cover just like the other one. You can flip the cover over and use it as a stand on your ironing board. So it protects your ironing board, which is great. When you're done, you just slip it in, pop it back on, and you'll notice that it does have um, a hole at the top so you can hang it on a pegboard or on a nail or whatever you've got for your accessories. This is the steam button and let me tell you this thing can project your steam like nobody's business. It still gets plenty hot and as you can tell the dial still has um, gives you an option for how hot you want it to get. One thing I do love about the Oliso irons is that their cords are plenty long. So I've got that all plugged in. Now as you can see, we've got our light here saying it's standby and when we push it, it turns green. So it's gonna get the machine going and warming up. I'm gonna flip this over. And then as you can tell, or maybe not, there's the light. So I can simply turn the button, click the button on, and that will activate the light. Oh my gosh, it's pointed straight down. Well, it's pointed at an angle so it hits whatever you are pressing right in front of you. I love this option because a lot of times we just can't see what we're pressing. Our lighting in our sewing room sometimes aren't the best and you can't have hanging lights or alt lights everywhere. And so this really does give you some additional lighting and help when you are pressing. The back pops up on the handle and this is where you are going to fill your water. It does have um, a guide for your water so you can see how much water you have in here and it also has a spot that says maximum fill so don't fill it up higher than that or it will leak and then you just simply pop that back down. It gets super hot and this thing glides on fabric like crazy. It is fabulous. So you just set it down and it's just is so smooth. It's a great plate. It is one of my favorite iron plates out there. So that's a quick look at the mini new mini Oliso iron. Again, they changed the cord to the side. 
it's able to stand up on its own it has the light right in the front it has the steam blaster buttons and now it has um, a button so you know when the iron is ready as well as the temperature guide and then your fill area and your spot for your steam water. It's a great little iron, something you definitely should check into.